Hello YouTube, this is Carbine Cowboy. I'm coming back to you from the great state of Montana. I want to do another video today on one of my favorite hunting rifles. This particular rifle is the Remington Model 700 Classic and the 7x57 or otherwise known as the 7000. I purchased this rifle, brand new, back in 1982. It has been one of the best rifles I think I have ever owned. The nice thing I like about this little rifle is it's very compact and it is also very accurate. The 7x57 cartridge was actually invented by Paul Mauser, the same gentleman that also invented the German 8 Mauser. The only difference was the Germans didn't really care for the 7mm. They preferred the 8mm, so a lot of your Spanish-speaking countries adopted the 7 Mauser as their main military cartridge from about 1893 up until, well, some of them were used all the way up to the 1950s. You can still pick up a lot of your Chilean Mausers. They were really popular in Mexico. And they are also more than adequate for taking any North American big game animal. The only thing I wouldn't recommend them for would be Big Bear. On a historical note, uh, Kelvin Earl Bell, who was a big time African hunter back around, you know, I think it was around the 1920s, 1930s, it was right after World War I. He used the 7x57 Mauser, or known to the British as a 275 Rigby, and he killed over 1,100 elephants with it. Uh, the only difference was, is instead of using soft point ammunition, he was using the military 175 grain full metal jacket. Now, Bell, he was a true Scotsman. He's a lot tougher than I would be. I don't know if I'd want to go nose to nose with a big bull elephant back in the seven mountain, but he did. And he bragged about it a lot in a lot of his writings. He said that it would kill the elephant with one shot as long as the bolt was placed correctly. This rifle, uh, Remington only chambered him in the 7 Mauser for one year. Every year in the Remington Model 700 Classic, they pick one caliber and they chamber it in that rifle. This was the first cartridge chambered in the Remington Model 700 Classic, and they picked it in the 7 Mauser. The 7 Mauser <clears throat> is not a short action uh, cartridge. It kind of falls, well, it's not a long action either. It's longer than the 308, but a tad shorter than the 270. Uh, ballistically, it's about equivalent to the 270 Winchester. Uh, most of your factory ammunition you will find for today is loaded relatively weak to be chambered in a lot of your turn of the century military rifles where they used a lot of softer steel and receivers. But in a modern rifle, uh, like the Remington Model 700, some of your Ruger single shots, Winchester even, chambered it for a while. You can load these things up too and right about equivalent to the 270 Winchester. Uh, I reload for mine due to the fact that I can tailor the load to the rifle and it's also a lot cheaper. Uh, I predominantly load in this one the Hornady 154 grain spear point and with these I get phenomenal accuracy. Uh, I use a lot of IMR DuPont powder along the line of 4350. I will not tell you what type or charge. And the reason for that is is liability. I don't want somebody loading a cartridge, exceeding the pressure limit, sticking it at a 100 year old gun, and then having a problem. What you do on your own is your own business. I have pressure tested these loads in this particular rifle and they are safe. But the other load that I used to use quite a bit was the Hornady 154 grain round nose, and it was also propelled by powder like your IMR 4350. And the muzzle velocity out of these are right about 2,800 feet a second, which is really no slouch when you consider a 270 Winchester with the same 150 grain bullet is doing about 2,900. The only difference is you get a little bigger cartridge with it being in a seven millimeter. Now with this cartridge, I have killed 
I, I could not begin to tell you. I've killed along the lines of about a dozen deer. Uh, all one shot. Never had to shoot one twice. Accuracy out of this rifle is pretty decent. Uh, the target that I have here, if you can see where my hand is at, that was fired at 100 yards. And the overall group on that is a .704. That was fired at 100 yards. Not bad for a straight factory rifle. It has a one nine and a half twist, and it's a 22 inch medium weight barrel. Uh, the rifle is by far capable of better accuracy, but this is my preferred hunting load. With that being said, it is a great cartridge. I would recommend it for women. I would also recommend it for people that are a little recoil sensitive. Recoil out of this rifle is about equivalent, well, like I said, to a 270. Uh, the thing that I truly do like about it is being a Woodstock rifle, this rifle with scope weighs right around eight pounds. So the recoil out of it isn't gonna be as atrocious as it would be out of a synthetic stock rifle. And I really do enjoy the color of the wood. Uh, the wood that they chose for this rifle, as you can tell in the video, I like it, it's very pretty. It has a lot of grain to it, and it looks really nice. For a off-the-shelf rifle, I really can't complain. The only modification that I did do to it was when I bought the rifle, it had the typical thin Remington recoil pad, and I changed it out for a little thicker pad, uh, but you have to remember back when I did that, I was about 11, 12 years old, so back in those days, the recoil was about as much as I could handle. Now that I'm a little older, it's not so bad at all. But anyway, if you ever have a chance, if you want a cartridge that's a little different, Check out the 7 Mauser. You'll really be impressed. I know the late, great Jack O'Connor, those of you that know about Jack O'Connor, favored the 7x57 or the 7 Mauser. His wife, Eleanor, managed to kill every animal that she ever went after in the North American continent, and she used it quite extensively in Africa. Jack O'Connor being the man that he was, I don't believe that he would give his wife a mediocre cartridge and send her after North American or African game animals. So with that said, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them at the bottom of the page. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm from the Carbine Cowboy and the Montana Mountain Man. Be safe. We'll see you next time. Thank you.